I've listed here a few products that I use or might use, and I want you to go through and classify each of them as having positive or negative externalities for you if you were in my class in person. Okay, hopefully you've had enough time to do that now. Let me go through uh, what I think are the answers here. So first one, when I teach, I choose to use deodorant. Why? Because when I don't use deodorant, I'm kind of smelly. Me using deodorant has some benefits for me, but mostly it has benefits for other people. Most of the benefits of people using deodorant accrue to other people. So this is something that has positive externalities associated with it. Remember, things that have positive externalities are going to tend to be underprovided by the market. Do you think that people use too little deodorant? I think they probably do. How about the second one? Smoking while I teach. Well, that's unlikely to happen nowadays, but if we went back 50, 60, 70 years, it would have been very common for the professor to be smoking while they taught. I'm going to guess that most of you would not like that, that most of you would find that distasteful. And so then that would have negative externalities of consumption for you. My consumption of those cigarettes would have negative consequences for you, that if I didn't take into account would lead to me smoking too much, over-consuming cigarettes. Third one, wearing clothes while I teach. Okay, uh, I told my wife about this one and told her that, you know, me wearing clothes has positive externalities for other people around me. My wife responded with a line that I love to tell my classes. She said, yeah, of course, no one wants to see that shit. <laughs> 